Hello everybody, Mike here at Game From Scratch. I got a bit of zombie news of sorts, I guess, today. Uh, about a month ago, I reported that Blender Game Engine, basically in the 2.8 version, uh, they were killing off Blender Game Engine. Basically, they had gone through and removed all of the code from inside of Blender itself. So with Blender 2.8 and beyond, Blender Game Engine is effectively dead. Now, there was some ambiguity about what the future held for Blender Game Engine, and some of that ambiguity is now gone. Now, one of the things I found kind of shocking with this release is just how many people actually cared. So if you go through the comment section, there are 310 comments on this video, which I will link down below, and it's probably a good 50-50 mix between good to hell with the game engine or I'm done with Blender, this is the only reason I was sticking around. So the decision to remove the Blender game engine from Blender itself was definitely a divisive one. Uh, I think in some ways, it had to be done. I think there was a lot of legacy code holding back the development of Blender and that the game engine probably shouldn't have been integrated directly into Blender itself, but instead implemented as add-ons. So uh, I do understand, at least from my personal opinion, why this decision was made. But what was left you know, for all of us to wonder is what the future held. So a lot of people thought, well, that's exactly what they were going to do. They were going to pull Blender Game Engine out and then implement it as plugins. Well, this doesn't seem to be the case. Blender Game Engine, I think, as we know it and love it today, is dead and gone. But there is a future for this kind of technology. I think you're going to see parts of it come back quite fast. And why am I responding to this? Well, there was a tweet today, and that is exactly what we were talking about today. Uh, the Blender official Twitter um, basically just released this following tweet. BGE developer Benoit Bol Bolsi, I probably mangled that, if so I'm sorry, uh, will lead the work on a new real-time interactive mode for Blender 2.8, featuring physics for simulation, a nodal logic system with event handling, and enable support for external game engine. So essentially, they're going to take a lot of the functionality that people were using Blender game engine for that wasn't necessarily for making and compiling games and bring it back. So that node-based programming system them, the physics engine um, and event handling is all going to come back in one form or another, but it's not going to basically be using Blender to create games anymore directly. But they're also looking at working more directly with the various game engines that are out there, such as Armory, Godot, etc. So instead of doing their own, rolling their own on game engines or, you know, um, that kind of functionality. They're going to bring back the content creation functionality that made sense, uh, such as, again, the physics simulation, etc. And then the programmability, the node-based programmability that I think a lot of people were using, even if they weren't creating games, well, they're going to explore bringing that technology back into Blender, just not a full-blown game engine. And then they're going to work with other game engines more directly to make Blender more appealing. Now, here is the um, the linked document. Uh, basically, it's just on the... Um, the uh, Blender development uh, mailing list of what their intentions are. And basically, Benoit has signed on for, uh, let's see, he will do this part-time for one and a half days per week for, I believe it was a year, year and a half. So he's going to be signed on for quite a while to be dedicated to working on this functionality. Um, and then what they're specifically looking at uh, summarize the work we will be looking first be done in two areas. Implement a high quality real time viewport with physics event handling. Uh, that sounds a lot like Eevee to me, uh, plus physics and event handling. And, um, design and prototype a new logical, uh, nodal logic system. And then again, re uh, related to this work is also to enable good support, export, or some kind of integration for external game engines such as Godot, Armory, Blend for Web, Unreal, Unity, etc. so that that physics and such you worked on in the Blender game engine will transition seamlessly to your game engine of choice. Now, this is brand new. It hasn't really been flushed out all too, too much. So we don't know exactly what functionality is going to be come back, what is going to be implemented. But I do think this makes a lot of sense. Blender as a game engine didn't make a whole lot of sense, especially now that there are a lot of viable options out there. But using Blender to create physics simulations, etc., did make a whole lot of sense. You can actually do that now in engines such as, or in content creation tools such as Max and Maya, Houdini, etc. So that is functionality that Blender should have. And they kind of threw the base baby out with the bathwater on that one. So it's nice to see that they decided to, you know, pick the baby back up and, you know, potentially try to keep it going. So, um, 
you know, for some of you people I know were devastated that BGE was coming, that was BGE was being thrown away with 2.8. And this is kind of walking that back a little bit. So they're going to take some of the functionality that was in BGE. But again, you're not going to be able to use Blender to compile games. Blender is not technically a full-blown game engine anymore. But it will, in theory, work more seamlessly with game engines that exist. So what is your take on that? Is this a good development? Are you happy to see it? Um, is this... You know, for the people out there that are really sad to see Blender Game Engine functionality go, if you get the node-based scripting back and the physics simulation back, just kind of lose the ability to, you know, compile and run games directly in Blender, is that enough for you or are you still done with Blender completely? And uh, what would you like to see Blender do in this release? Uh, let me know in the comments down below. Once again, I will link to uh, this post here. I will link to the video I did announcing Blender Game Engine's death. And uh, hopefully this rebirth of sorts is a good thing overall for the community. All right, that's it for now. I will talk to you all later. Goodbye.